here in the Unity project, you see the two example vehicles. Disable this one for now. Uh, so looking again at the Blackhawk model, you can see the same layout. And basically, here's all of the controls that are used to toggle states in the animator. First thing I want to go over is the animator. If you notice, the layers and the parameters. Press play. Hold on one second. Uh, so, okay. So back to the parameters. There are a couple booleans. These booleans are connected to some states here in the lower layers. You can see here this transition. The open left window. If I toggle that, see the window opens. There's a new script here in the APS SDK called sandbox empty. I just added a blank game object, just create empty. The location is approximately at the center of the object. Most importantly is you gotta have one of these clicked or both. If you watch the door, the left window open. So this is the animation. So you can see there's no rotation. As you would expect, the rotors, uh, if you add a sandbox empty here, just the rotation is important. These are each of the sandbox empties. I recorded the motion capture for this character basically by just pressing the button and then acting at like I closed the door. Now, connecting the buttons to the animations. So you have the sandbox empty and this new animator set bool. Here is our button that we wish to connect to the animation for this uh, boolean. And here are the triggers. You can see that the closer is enabled by default. Now, when I hit press button, you see it change. Now it's the left door window opener and the checkbox was clicked. Press the button again, and it's toggled. Going back to this trigger, this is the opener and this is the closer. So you can see when this is enabled, it will trigger this to true. And when this one is enabled, it will set it to false. Now, switching over to Luxor, I've imported the Blackhawk vehicle prop into the scene. This is the prop with the controls and uh, the additional buttons. Those are all recordable. These are recordable as well. Now, let's record some motion capture. And finally, export the scene and render it in Blender.